Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about mesh control. Let's begin with a new study. OK. And let's right click on the mesh node. Scroll to create mesh. Let's accept the default parameters. Click OK. And the mesh is now created. As you can see, in a number of areas on my part, the mesh is only one element deep. And generally, that's not what I want here. So let me show you what I mean. For example, around the rib. Also, the wall around these bolt holes. The problem with a mesh only one element deep is that you can't create an accurate study. So SolidWorks gives us a way to sort this all out. And in this video, we're going to learn how to fix this problem. Let's begin by right-clicking on the Mesh node. Select Create Mesh. Let's begin with one experiment. We'll adjust the slider all the way to the Fine setting. As you can see, the global parameter size gets slightly larger than 2 millimeters. Let's click OK to accept these parameters. SolidWorks has built our mesh, and as you see, we've got many more mesh elements. But the situation hasn't improved around the bolt hole walls and the rib. Let's try a different approach. Let's right-click on the Mesh node again, select Create Mesh. And click the Reset button to restore default parameters. Let's check Automatic Transition. What this does is automatically refine the mesh around the smaller elements. As you see, the mesh is smaller around the fillets and at the transition. However, the rib and the walls around the bolt holes are still only one element deep, so this is not what we want either. Let's create another mesh. Right-click on the node. Create Mesh. Now let's uncheck Automatic Transition and click OK. Let's right-click on the Mesh node again. This time, scroll down to Apply Mesh Control. First, I'm going to work with the rib. I know its thickness is 2 millimeters. I'll select this face and make the element size half a millimeter. So 0 0.5. And let's click in the Ratio field. Let's make it 1.5. What the ratio does is specify how big the next layer of the element is. We're ready to click OK, so let's do it. Now we need to recreate the mesh. Let's right-click Create Mesh. Let's click OK. Now we've got a much smaller mesh element here on the rib, but only on the side that we selected. Let's zoom in a bit here to see the transitional elements. They're 1.5 times bigger than the elements that belong to this face. Next, I'm going to work with the wall around the bolt holes. I know the thickness is 2.5 millimeters. Let's right-click on Mesh Control, select Apply Mesh Control. And we'll select this inside face. The element size, let's make it 1 millimeter. The ratio, I'll leave at 1.5 millimeters. And let's click OK. Now let's recreate the mesh. Accept. OK, now we have the results we're looking for, a smaller mesh element. And of course, to edit the mesh control, just right click. Select Edit Definition. Let's cancel out of this window. And lastly, let's work with this wall. Remember, the thickness of this wall is 2 millimeters. Let's right-click, Apply Mesh Control, and we will select this face. Let's make the element size a quarter of a millimeter, 0.25. The transition ratio, I can leave at 1.5, and let's click OK. Let's right-click, select Create Mesh. Click OK to accept. SolidWorks calculates for us. 
and now we have a much more fine mesh at the thinner walls. This concludes our tutorial about mesh control.